County prosecutor who was caught berating an Uber driver gave a tearful apology today, but she's also defending some of her actions. In the end, it all cost her her job. News a Sebastian Robertson live downtown with the story that's getting a lot of attention across the country. Sebastian? Hi, John. The Uber driver simply saying that his passenger was belligerently drunk and that he wanted her out of the vehicle. Assistant District Attorney Jody Warner isn't denying that this is her voice caught on tape. Please no, step because out of now my I'm pissed the f off. But does say there's more to the confrontation inside a Dallas Uber that cost her her job. When you've been prosecuting sexual offenders for two years, I, I just look at everyone a little differently. I've had rude passengers, but never someone laying their hands physically on me. Sean Platt is the Uber driver who picked up Warner from a Dallas bar late Saturday night. Platt claims he was following the GPS route as per Uber policy. Warner wanted to take a different way. And I felt uncomfortable with the route that he was taking me. Platt refused at first, and Warner became frustrated. That's when he started recording on his cell phone. I think this might be kidnapping right now, actually. It's not kidnapping, man. No, You're it free is, to leave. Warner didn't make it home by Uber. Instead, Platt called the cops. Neither Warner or Platt were charged at the scene. There's no excuse for anyone to talk the way that I did. <laughs> but there is some more context. Last night, Warner was let go. Um, Dallas County District Attorney Faith Johnson calling her behavior, quote, contrary to this office's core principle of integrity. Well, I just want to apologize for my language um, to the district attorney's office. I'm sorry. An apology to the county, but not to the driver. She claims she was in fight or flight mode. If he did nothing wrong, then yeah, I'm sorry. If Did I avoid a p potential dangerous situation? I guess we'll never know. Platt says he didn't want to see Warner fired and says he received a personal phone call from the DA Monday morning apologizing. People just continue to let people in power kind of push you to the side. Then they're going to keep thinking they can get their way. Warner, like you heard, said there is more to the story, but she didn't elaborate. Uh, she also says that she never laid a hand on the driver. As for her future in law, it is possible that she could be hired by another county. In Dallas, Sebastian Robertson, Channel 8 News. All right, Sebastian.